Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. So this video today will show you how to export a query or a table in Microsoft Access to a CSV file. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a macro and I'm going to create a function within the macro that actually will call a VBA code to actually um, run everything. What's cool about it is that you can actually pass through different parameters and variables to actually do everything. So the function that I've created is called CSV export and there are three separate uh, criteria. The first is going to be the query that I'm trying to export. You see there's a table named junk data and in the first part junk data is my uh, is my first variable. The second one is going to be the name of the report. Basically it's going to uh, actually put that name on the file that you're going to export out. And then the last part is going to be the file path itself, basically where the where the file is going to actually export out to. Um, and real quick, we'll actually look at the VBA code. Uh, it's really simple. Basically, I set up the same function and I basically do a run code in the access uh, macro. And then basically, like I said, the query name is the first part. The second name is, is the name of the report. And the last part is the location of the file path. Uh, you, you can ignore the public constant. I just had it there to test it out. And everything that's been commented out here, uh, ignore that. Basically, I just wanted to see if it worked both ways, and it does. Only thing I added to it is that I basically add a date to the end of it, where basically it'll add uh, the actual date, basically um, whatever date I have in here. And right now, uh, the actual date uh, parameter is going to be today's date. And then it's formatted as... Uh, year 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 month month and day day then from here um, I actually set up the, um, the the actual file name itself as as the report date that, that I passed which is the second parameter and also the actual date value or the date format uh, from from the uh, other um, portion that I, that I just created and then basically how you do it is that you're gonna do a a do command a transfer text you're going to do AC export uh, delimited basically that that'll uh, separate it out to where uh, it'll basically create it as a CSV file and then there are, are, are two param well there are three different parameters here the first parameter is the query name itself so it basically it's the query and, and I pass that through the function the second is going to be the actual uh, the full path of the file name itself which is the uh, the save location, which is our third variable, and the file format, which is the, the file name with the date added, and then then and then just add a, a dot csv at the end, and then that true means that it's going to export it with headers. If you put false, it's going to actually uh, set it up to where there aren't any headers there. Uh, actually, this is in here twice. I can actually comment this out because all it's going to do is that it's going to basically do it a second time. Uh, really since I'm calling the function one time I only need to really set it one time but actually I'm gonna do something I'm gonna show you a, a, a little uh, a little trick I'm gonna show you that actually when I set that as a false it's gonna actually set the set it up slightly differently so from here I'm gonna I just add a one to the uh, the file name and then basically whenever it passes it passes those two um, Whenever it calls this function, it's going to basically call it twice. It's going to call it with the original name, with the headers, and then it's going to put a one at the very end before the file extension, and it's going to put the false, which is going to show that it's not going to have the actual uh, header on the uh, on the file itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this real quick, and I should have a total of four files. So you see here that basically uh, the sample you see the four files here the uh first part says sample report query and then it has the file date this here should be the query that, that i just created with the with the headers included and you see that it's it's my uh sample table and then the second one is where um it's going to be the same data but this time it's not going to have the headers because I've, I set that, that variable as false. So you see here that now the, uh, the headers are not there. Uh, also too, um, also for the sample table, the same thing. Basically, it's going to put the first one 
as the actual um as the table itself it's the same table only difference is that uh i, I set it as a table versus a query and you see here that it actually puts the actual name of the file as the as a sheet name as well um and lastly the last part is going to be the sample report itself the table without the headers because you see you remember I, I set that variable as false so when you do that uh, you can basically uh, create a function that uh, if you know exactly which which report you want to use uh, you can actually set this up and believe it or not how I have the formatting of the date I can actually set that as a parameter as well so this is pretty open-ended uh, I think this is a great tool um, there's another way of doing it uh, where you can basically click on the, the actual um, object itself and then go to external data and then from there you can export it as a text file but doing it this way it's where you can automate it you can basically make make the query do it for you uh, so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section what I'm gonna do is that this particular database I'm gonna put it into a, 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 a raw file um, actually well I'm sorry a zip file and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this on my uh, website that way you can have an example of it let me know what you think in the comment section uh, hopefully this is helpful uh, yeah if you like the video please be sure to uh, comment uh, like the video as well subscribe to the channel and um, thanks for watching hey thank you